Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to the Tarot Genie. Today, I'm beginning a new series of mini lessons going card by card throughout the entire tarot deck. I do have a YouTube channel, as you've already, most people have seen the Tarot Genie, where I talk about, do tarot readings on current events and other topics from time to time. I thought it would be useful, however, to just for those of the viewers who might be interested in learning a little bit more about the tarot, if, not, if they are not already familiar with it, to learn card by card, week by week, about the insights that I have gleaned over the years. Sorry, I'm gonna check my notes here. I have them prepared on the particular card I'm doing today. But I thought it would be useful to share with you how I use the tarot to inspire me in my work, in projects, etc. I like also to combine the tarot with music selections because while I love music, music is therapeutic, music is cathartic, and I think that the tarot cards with the imagery they have lend themselves well to combining with music selections. And this effort, these mini tarot lessons, is part of some work I'm going to be doing later in creating a course on using the tarot for ghost writers and writers of any kind, but particular ghost writers, since I'm taking training in that area. And the tarot, because of the imagery, lends itself very well as an aid for writers, as a writer prompt, a writing prompt. So let's jump right into today's first card. I'm going to start with the major arcana cards, just go through them one by one, week by week, as I said, and then the minor arcana. The first card of the Major Arcana is the Fool. And also, I wanna share with you that I'm using the Giant Rider Waite deck. So this card is larger than the typical deck, but it's very good, lends itself well to videos so that you can see, hopefully, more of the details. And the Rider Waite deck is one of the classic de tarot decks on which many other decks are based. Goes back, uh, this deck was published back in first, I believe, in 1909, same year that my grandmother graduated for co from college. That's a little bit of personal trivia. But back in 1909 by Pamela Colin, Coleman Smith. And she was contracted out by Arthur Waite, who developed the tarot, to do the drawings. So she is the one, she is the artist who drew each of these drawings. So jumping right in with the fool. And also, the Major Arcana, each of these cards, 22 cards of the Major Arcana, represent special, especially important energy when they pop up in a reading. Now, the tarot starts off with the Fool with the number zero, meaning kind of that infinity symbol, and starting at ground zero, we could say. And also, it's important to note that every single tarot card no matter how happy or how frightening its appearance may be, each of them has a positive or series of positive and series of negative interpretations, potential interpretations. It all depends on the question you ask, and I'll share that with you in just a moment. So if we look at this card just on face value, we're not, we're not doing a reading today, but if this card popped up in a reading, it can mean the following type of things, and it's this is, these are the sets of meanings that I've developed over time. First, if, for example, I was asking the question, how should I view this business venture that I'm considering? How should I view it? And if the fool popped up, I would interpret that as saying, be, you know, open your arms to life, you know, embrace this new journey as a new adventure. The universe is giving you an opportunity a great opportunity and there's a lot and listen to the insights that the universe is giving you which are illuminated the fool but he does he looks like he's going to fall off a precipice so it is a little bit dangerous as to what may happen but it's just suggesting that you take since he's on top a precipice atop a mountain so taking it's advising you to take the high perspective maybe open your eyes to the the realm of possibilities that lie within this business venture venture and embrace it you know, be open at the same time though we see this little white dog it's kind of yapping which is suggesting that you may need to you know, there might be some things to look out for 
Like you don't want to go to get too close to the edge of the cliff and fall off. But the open stance that the fool has reminds me of this particular philosophy that my spiritual coach, Carol Doray, goes by. She says, embrace and open your arms to life. Open your arms to life. So in a reading, if this were a positive interpretation, should I, or how should I view this particular business venture I'm considering? The fool is suggesting that you have a purity of intention as represented by the white rose or white flower. Take a panoramic high vantage point view of it. You know, may consider all the possibilities. You know, look, you know, get some intuitive insights about it and to kind of turn with it. And he almost looks like, even though he's looking, gazing up like this, Almost it seems as if he's meditating on it as well. But he's not carrying a lot. He has this small satchel, which suggests that he's taking, you know, he's not bringing baggage from the past. He's being open-minded. So it's all about open-mindedness. On the other hand, if I ask the question, what do I need to be cautious about? Is there anything I need to be cautious about in considering this business venture? Then the fool would suggest, if it popped up, that don't be too foolhardy about this possibility. Sorry, um, be you know, look at it with completely open eyes. Be aware, as the little dog is warning, of any potential pitfalls, like getting too close to the edge of a precipice. You know, there might be some danger in there. There's some. You know, be mindful of some potential obstacle, some potential negative aspects of it. That's what I would say if I received this card in response to the question, what should I be cautious about? But if we're saying that we like to use the fool to inspire us, say getting the week off to a good, great start, then I would say, Take the fool, meditate on the fool and say, open your arms to life. And I'd also like to share with you some, some sayings and some insights that I've culled from a variety of sources. The first one is from Melanie Beatty, one of her books. And she says, open yourself to all that the universe has to say. Yes, and definitely the fool appears to be opening himself to all that the universe has to say. Be open to adventure. View life as an adventure. He definitely looks adventurous. And a good affirm affirmation to use with the Fool card is, I'm open to life and all its possibilities. I trust in the universe. I have faith that wondrous things are coming my way. And I move forward with no real baggage. You know, it's just that little satchel. It just contains the bare essence of what he needs. Be willing to take a risk, but do keep your eyes open as the little dog is advising and barking and alerting the fool to. And embrace youthful energy and vitality because we have a young adult here. So embrace that youthful vitality and energy. Have pizzazz. That's what I often see associated with this card. And in conclusion, a couple of songs that I associate with the Fool card. First one is Steppin' Out by Joe Jackson, and I will include a link to that in the show notes below. The other song that I that came up recently was Learning to Fly by Tom Petty. It just, as I listen to that, because I have a playlist that I jump on the trampoline to, and that song's come up a number of times, and it just reminded me of The Fool. I kind of, almost as if well, he may think that he's getting ready to fly off the cliff into a new adventure. So those two songs are ones that I find helpful and invigorating when I look at the fool. But if those don't suit you, now find what resonates with you to embrace the positive energy of the fool. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I welcome your comments on this series. And until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.